everyone, so I'm super excited that I finally got to 100 subs, so thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and supporting me. Um, you have no idea how much I appreciate it. So to celebrate that, I promised you guys on my Instagram with a Q&A. So pretty exciting, I have never done one before and was pretty nervous to do one, but I got all the questions and they're they're pretty good, some are funny, you know, so without further ado, let's just get right into it. So I'm going to start with the fun one first. I Well, they're all fun, but um, the first question is, what is my dream vacation? And I would say my dream vacation is um, traveling across Europe. I've surprisingly never been before. I missed out on the school trip. Um, but I want to go to France, Italy, um, Greece, all, all the beautiful places around there. However, I don't want to backpack. <laughs> I'm not a backpacking gal. So I guess the dream part would be going to like luxury hotels and spots like that. So it's definitely on my bucket list and it will happen one day. Um, but yeah, that I would say is my like top dream vacation. So the next question, um, why do I do YouTube? So I do YouTube because, well, one, I want to grow my brand more. Two, I've like always wanted to do YouTube. Like I remember ever since I was like 12, I was watching um, like YouTubers, like hair, beauty, you know, all that jazz um, YouTubers. So. Um, like I thought about it when I was in high school, just, you know, for like shits and giggles, but I obviously never did it. And then once I started taking social media seriously, I was like going back and forth for a long time because, you know, it, it is quite daunting, like going in front of a camera and talking to it and like putting it online too. I guess that was a huge, um fear of mine but you know what I said fuck it um, I want my dreams to happen and um, I also for I guess my third reason why I love it so much is that I can I can actually show my life and talk to you guys and so it's not so one-dimensional so yeah I just really like it to get personal with you guys and all that jazz um, the next one chicken or beef um, to be honest, I don't really like chicken, but I'll like have it like cut up and stuff. Beef, not a huge like beef girl either, but like a sucker for steak. <laughs> um, what are my thoughts on vintage clothing? So I fucking love vintage clothing, vintage like anything I'm obsessed with. I love like the character behind all vintage pieces and especially that like you can't really get it anywhere else so like one of my favorite shops to spot at or just sorry to shop at in Winnipeg are Value Village Thrift obviously and Winnipeg Vintage it's my good friend who basically does the work for you and finds these really cool pieces but I just find his stuff like or Brian's stuff so unique so definitely check him out on Instagram what are my long-term goals? Um, that is like kind of hard to answer because I'm definitely more of like a short-term goal thinker because I don't like to like plan my life out that far in advance because like you never know what's going to happen. But I guess like some long-term goals is like I do want my channel to grow and my like social media platform to grow and like see where this career could take me. Another goal is like owning a Porsche one day, um, like having a bunch of designer bags. I still don't have one, but um, I'm going to get one eventually. Um, definitely a Chanel bag. Um, having like a big home being able to take a lot of vacations and stuff like that and just like overall being happy and accepting the life that I've created for myself like never having any regrets or anything like that so those are definitely this might be like kind of vague but um, those are the few long-term goals that I have right now so what is my fate or sorry who is my favorite designer and favorite designer piece and 
Unfortunately, right now, I don't have any designer pieces. One day, I will. <laughs> um, but I would say, um, I love Chanel. Um, Carl Walkerfeld, rest in peace. But I love the Chanel brand. I love, like, Tom Ford as well. Um, but, and Alexander Wang. I have a few favorite designers, I guess. Favorite designer piece? Definitely the Chanel bag. Um, nothing in particular, just like the classic one. It really never goes out of style and I want one so bad. <laughs> if you could eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, that's like super hard. I guess like not that hard. <laughs> I would probably pick potatoes because I love mashed potatoes, fries, potato chips. Like, I would be perfectly happy with all of the above. <laughs> um, big potato gal. Who are my idols? Um, let's see. Hmm. I don't really think I've ever thought of that, to be quite honest. Um, I guess some, like... Um, like fashion idols and social media like like content creator idols definitely Paige Lorenz I really look up to her um, you know I really I do really like Emma uh, Leger she's like done really well for herself um, hmm it's hard okay here's a fun one what are three favorite shoe brands? What are your three favorite shoe brands? One is budget, one's premium, and one's luxury. Budget, uh, definitely Converse. I have been wearing Converse since I was like 11. <laughs> um, Living, like dying them. I always like wear every pair to the ground. Um, premium, definitely Steve Madden. I love Steve Madden, um, such good quality, a um, little bit more pricey but nothing like crazy compared to other brands. Um, luxury, it's hard because I don't have any luxury shoes but from what I've seen I do really like Prada and Gucci. I think they have very nice um, shoes like heels and sandals. My favorite perfume is the Givenchy Le Interdit. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's in my What I Got for Christmas haul if you want to go look and check it out. Um, I also did link it. But I, yeah, I got it for Christmas and I am so obsessed with it. It is like my favorite perfume like by far. It's like woodsy, kind of vanilla-y and lasts forever. Like I'm you have to, have to try it out. So that's all the questions I'm gonna answer today. I answered um, most of them. Some of them were, I guess one at the top of my head is, do I wear socks or just go in bare feet? Um, I do wear socks, thank you. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for asking me questions. I had so much fun answering them. Um, if you have any more, definitely save them for the next Q&A because I will be continuing these. I don't know how often, um, we'll see how much you guys are interested in my life, maybe not at all, that's okay. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or comments below, sorry, if you have any questions or comments, leave it below, <laughs> sorry. Um, and yeah, again, thank you so, so, so much for 100 subscribers, like, I know it's still small, but that to me means so much because I have never had to grow a YouTube channel so this is like all quite new to me and although it's a slow climb it's definitely well worth it and um, I know I like could be more consistent but consistently consistency is kind of hard sometimes um, just being like super blunt so anyways I um, will talk to you in the next video and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!